what is happening guys we're Craig and Amy and you are watching King It. and this week we nearly land ourselves in jail if you're just joining us we're on a motorbike trip from the north to the south of Vietnam and so far it's been mental don't panic it's fine this is a death trap holy shit <laughs> We're definitely going to come off. We're travelling with our pals Chloe and James <laughs> and this week we're making our way closer to the coast. As usual, there's a lot of drama this week. Good old Google Maps. Oh yeah. my god, look at the size of it. Everything okay? <laughs> oh, I think James has broken down. <laughs> Vietnam, baby! <laughs> as well as a close shave with the FBI. If we make it to Ho Chi Minh on these bikes, it'll be a motherfucking miracle. Part one, girl, you fire. So we found ourselves at the MUA caves. That's not makeup artist caves. It's just moor caves. We're about to ascend into the clouds, basically. That's where we're going. It's a hike, Amy hasn't made it clear, but it's a hike up a mountain. Looks great, I can't wait. Chloe thinks we're going to the cinema. <laughs> Got some popcorn. Squeeze them glutes. I don't have any. I told you, I haven't got any. You lost the glutes, yeah. First lookout point. That's funny. I've resorted now to actually getting some motivational music to get me to the top. Not sure what we're going to go for, like Tony Robbins, Bon Jovi. I'm not sure what. What you. What would you recommend? Something motivational. I'm just gonna go with Christmas songs. They seem to do the trick. Oh my God, Diane. That's a dragon I was on about. It took a while, but he's very friendly. paper just being sat yeah like you could go deep and write some lovely things Amy really likes this girl's shoes so she's trying to take a picture that's it cool thank you I will look for them now I'll buy them on shopping and that <laughs> twice I've done that on this trip they were really cool though I want a picture with a goat if you're quick there's a goat right there you know I'll run for goat spring <laughs> head like a damsel in distress yeah that'll be great don't fret look at him hey buddy have you been framed moment Hi. oh my goodness don't ram me you be best friend <laughs> amy's made it up and down so i've treated her to a little coconut this is the best thing i've ever tasted they keep them in the fridge Part two, bamboo la pipi. Morning team, so after a few days of rest and recuperation, we're ready to hit the road again. We're making our way towards Phong Na National Park, which is gonna be class. Yeah, to the caves. To the caves. Which we've been told we cannot miss on this itinerary, so we had to put it in. So yeah, it's been really nice just to chill here, have a swimming pool, eat some good food, and just recover, because like, it's such a mission. It's our bums. More than anything. I've got a major rash on my bum from just don't being tell, stuck no, to the don't seat. Don't tell people that. Don't tell people that. Ooh, okay, let's get some breeze through our moustaches. Okay, so today we are heading to a place called Kai An, which is 294 kilometers. Oh, killer! 
It's going to be a big day today, lads. <laughs> After a quick petrol stop, we were on the road. And at this point, the roads had gone from winding mountain roads with stunning scenery to playing the generation game in busy traffic. A load of bags, some brown cows, a wheelbarrow, live chickens, a red scooter, a black scooter, apples. The heat of the day was penetrating and as we stopped for some food captain b nearly fainted chev just had a bit of an episode i have to lay down by the fan she hasn't had any food though so i think that's probably why there's no energy not bad <laughs> we're about halfway 145 kilometers to go figured out why we have to keep filling up with petrol yeah just driving along like that just all the wind resistance because of my massive helmet and my massive air <laughs> just slowing us down <laughs> driving along 60 kilometers an hour dragonfly about that big smashing me right in the mouth <laughs> lodged itself between my lifts and i have to go <laughs> spit it out i thought it was like one of these gloves that's how big it was i thought someone's thrown their glove out and it's caught craig in the lift <laughs> i think it's giving me a fat lip it hit me so hard like a bullet <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely bogging mate. Stopped at a restaurant, cost a fiver for all of us, but probably had the worst dish I've ever had on all of my travels. She served this bamboo that tasted like it's been soaked in pee pee. So if you stop at this place, do not order the bamboo la pee pee. <laughs> Wheelie bin. So we've done the north, tick, big massive fat tick for the mountains, the jungle, the coldness. And now we, we just keep seeing little beaches on the side. So I think we're about to hit the coastal route, which is very exciting. We're nearly halfway down the whole country, aren't we? Yes, we are. Result. Let's go. So just to give you a frame of reference, when you're in the city and you're behind those big trucks, it's like driving into when you just opened the oven. It's like constantly driving into that. But by the coast, it's like driving into a hairdryer on full heat. So it's hot wherever you're driving, but the coast is a little bit cooler. We've got about 40 minutes left. It's just been a driving day today. So yeah, we'll get to the hotel tonight, have a little kip and um, Go to the phone. Go to the Fognar caves tomorrow. Honestly, those horns. I'm gonna go and clip all the wires and all the lorries I can find. Oh, you found a nice lolly, did you? I found one. Go on, Trev. The Vietnamese are proper hospitable. They just. She's pulled up this whole chair and table setup. She's plugged in a fan. I said I'd think. You're right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and get up some fruit. <laughs> you wouldn't get that at your local lawn, this would you? Before we carry on motorbiking, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Jackery. Oh, uh, excuse me, love. I need something that's gonna power my stuff. You wanna get yourself a Jackery, mate? Oh, uh, what's a Jackery? <coughs> You're pathetic. <gasps> Only the best solution for all your power and needs, Cliff. All right. It's a portable power station with a solar generator. Just pop the solar panels outside, they soak up the sun, and turn that energy into electricity. And that's yours then, Cliff. Your electricity to use any time. Oh, she's got like USB ports. I have to charge my phone. Yes, Cliff. And uh, will the plug sockets charge my diesel locomotive LT vintage collectible train set? Yes, Cliff. Yes, it will. And best of all, Jackery are giving away a Jackery Explorer 500 plus a Solar Saga 100 solar panel to one lucky winner. But not you, Cliff. You can pay. Entries are open from the 18th to the 25th of July. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe to King It and Jackery's UK YouTube account. And leave a comment on our video of hashtag Jackery Solar Way below. We'll leave a TNC and a pinned comment below. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Part 3. The Federales. Can we get past? <laughs> 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 
We were five minutes from our hotel when we had our first run-in with the law. They pulled us over and started shouting, masks, then passed us some masks and asked us to put them on. And we thought we were good. But your man wasn't having it and he wanted to see our credentials. I think he wants you to go with him. I'm not going with it. They're just going to try and bribe us. Oh. It's the first time we put a mask on in Vietnam. They took me and James in a room and the fellow with the blinged out watch started his Google Translate bribing scheme. Four minutes later and a lot of persuasion and bickering, we were off the hook. Yeah, what's the, what's the score? He said if we don't put the mask, if we don't comply, we will hold you. Right. I think if we didn't have the license, you probably would have asked for a bribe. But... Yeah. We then carried on to our hotel feeling victorious and hoping for a soft mattress. Long oh, oh, yes. Right. Oh my god, yeah. It's, it's not bad. Nice. It's not bad. Oh, we got a fan. Aircon and a fan. Spoiled. Let me tell them about the coppers, love. So the coppers pulled us over. <laughs> so, yeah, I said, coppers, what do you want? And they were like, international driver's license. I was like, no problem. And then they handed us masks and they were telling us that we need masks because it's the law in Vietnam. So I basically pointed out all the people on bikes who were Vietnamese and didn't have them on. And he said, it's different because you're a foreigner. This is all on Google Translate. And he said, if you don't comply, we will hold you. So James and I looked at each other and we burst out laughing. And then I said, the masks are on, are we good? And then he was just like, he was defeated. Yes, one now, Craig. <laughs> Have it, coppers. We've, we've seen loads on this trip and they've all just saluted us and they've like given us waves and thumbs ups. But those guys, he had a sparkly watch on. Not today, Trev, not today. <laughs> Part four, caves and hose. Good morning, everyone. You ready to drive? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Why? It's just, uh, it's non-stop, isn't it? Non-stop. Also trying to figure out what to do about the rosas because I don't know what, I don't want to get what stopped here. What is a rosa? Copper, you know. 5 the FBI, the feds. <laughs> don't want the feds stopping us again, do we? Well, I've lost my mask already, so... Oh, I'll just drive quick, it'll be fine. Drive quick, okay. okay. No. Plan, drive quick. So we've only got an hour and a half drive to our next hotel, which looks really lovely for only nine quid. And then we're going to try and get a tour from someone. Proper tourer, isn't it, Craig? Proper tourer, love, yeah. Not much about you. <laughs> it's just what we do. Shout out to the feds, though. I mean, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of straight feds doing their thing. There's a lot of dodgy feds, you know, trying to make an extra buck. Not from this guy. Not from this guy. <laughs> Somebody feed this boy really soon before he oh, batters yeah, everyone. Yada. Why I oughta? You didn't get any breakfast, did we? No, but we got to the hotel, we got breakfast, banana pancakes, no eggs, and we can drive to the place which is five minutes away and get a boat tour. Wicked. Absolutely winning. We are winning today. Today is going to be a great day, lads. Yeah. After our banana pancakes, we had to check out the mattress situation. Yeah, nine out of ten for that. All right, perfect. So we got the the room with two double beds. So I'll sleep on that one, and Craig, you can sleep on the floor. <laughs> then it was time for some caving. Oh, we're in the wrong place. Twenty-five minutes that way. Q O Q O. Oh, look at this, lads! <laughs> I think this is what I meant by uh, Phong Na is the adventure capital of Vietnam. So there's zip lines that I think we have to take to get to the cave, which is really cool. Oh, really? Oh, the I was gonna go trip. 
have the builder. <laughs> oh, I love on you to check the plumbing. So am I. So am I. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody died on here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, right. Hold it. Oh. Yeah? Sit down, folks. Sit down, folks. Sit down, okay. Sit down. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. 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 Ah! Push in. Push in. Ow. Ow. Laura. Oh. Tell you what, that zip line picked up speed real fast. Oh, yes! Oh, nice. oh my god, it's amazing. It's like an ice bath. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah. Should we do the YMCA while we're here? Yeah. <laughs> the guy said there were snakes in here. Come on, Bob. <laughs> All right, next task, we have to climb up there. <laughs> so you can actually do like three and four day tours here and camp overnight and make your way through each cave because I think there's like four major ones. We have to watch a safety <laughs> through the stranger things looking caves to a special spot for some deep relaxation but it wasn't relaxing we made it to the mud bath We then hopped onto a kayak and made our way towards the surface. We were absolutely shattered, but we were also buzzing when we finally found a fully vegan restaurant on the ride home. So hungry. Right, bedtime Clive, way too much excitement for one day. Part five, just the two of us. Morning team. We've come to the Fong Na coffee station. If you ever come to Fong Na, this is the spot to come. They got a banging vegan breakfast and they do really good coffees. James and Chloe are shattered, so they decided they're not gonna come. So it's just me and Trev this morning. <coughs> to the waterfall. There's two waterfalls and then there's a swimming hole around here. Lots of water for a very sweaty day. I think we're on our own as well. <laughs> Dora, where are we off then? <laughs> to the swimming hole. <laughs> Somebody asked on Instagram the other day, what's the reason you're traveling Vietnam? And it's never really like a reason to come. Like we've always wanted to do this bike trip. It's been something that we've thought about for years and years, ever since we came here and we saw people doing it. And we heard that you could do it, we've always wanted to give it a go. But yeah, with travel, there's never like, 
there's never a reason. Travel is just one adventure after another and the situations you end up in, the stories you've got to tell and the experiences you get makes it all worth it. I heard this thing the other day that said, when you're a kid, your summers seem to last like a whole year because when you're younger, everything is brand new. So every time you're seeing things new, it's like slowing down time. And it's the same for traveling. Like we've been away for maybe two weeks, but it feels like we've been away for like months and months because everything we're seeing is brand new. So it's like a constant new experience. And that's our favorite part about traveling. So if that answers your question, you're welcome. So my top tip of the day is if you're a mum, a dad, an auntie, if you're a grandma, basically if you own a kid, send them traveling. It just opens your mind, opens your heart to different cultures, different ways people live and they just make them more humble and appreciative for what they've got. Cheers Dora. There's loads of spider webs I keep going in my face because I was first. But Craig's taking over me now so uh, we'll keep that quiet. Yeah? Whoa! Oh my god, that massive spider web. Watch oh out. shit, I can see oh it! Oh my god, look at the size of it! Ah! Mace! Oh, ugh. oh, where is he? Let me try and get him! Oh my god, that was huge. I was like that. just hit you in the oh. face. He nearly had my face there and that was so thick. Oh God, I can see it as well. <laughs> Literally no one must have been down here. No, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. See, absolutely no point in wearing makeup in Vietnam in June at all. The sign says go right, so naturally, Craig's gone left. Sometimes I just don't know why I travel with this boy. If we get stuck down here and have to come all the way back up, Craig, you owe me some money, hun. Beautiful walk though. Climbing over little trees that have fallen down, walking into massive spider webs. <laughs> really, really wicked. And I do honestly think we're on our own. Is this it? Just to clarify, I was not made for the outdoors. <laughs> Jeb, I think we found the pot of gold. So I don't think that this is on the map, Craig. Are we Christopher Columbus? I think so. Have we just found oh, Have we are you? Will you behave, ah! please? Oh wow, look at this! Amazing! Woo. It's nice, isn't it? So good! Nothing better than a fresh dip after a jungle hike. You loving it, Trev? Just love it. So good. <laughs> This is so nice, like you're dripping with sweat and then to just be able to get in something that's really cool. <sighs> Top banana. Oh yes, this is the life. Woo! So uh, we found it. Sweating again. So we're ready to get in. No, we're here. No, no. <laughs> we made our way back to the hotel from the botanical gardens. We raced upstairs and had a quick shower before we had to check out. She got aircon. <laughs> so nice, it's like sitting in a bridge. Oh, love, show us your doll. 200k. Let's do it! <laughs> I hope there's no buffaloes in this field. <laughs> yeah, my laser stuck. Nice. Oh, 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 Are you okay? Yeah, my laser got caught on a peg. Oh, bloody Nora. All right, this is the road we're supposed to be on. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> 
Google Maps. Google Maps is full. Google Maps. Are you I don't know where we're going. This road isn't even built yet. Back to the main road, lads, I say. So the guy in the uh, road making machine has told us it's this way. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just go that way, maybe. Yeah, All right, we're just going to go back the way we came. Through the field, remember the field? Yeah, we'll just go that way and uh, try and get back onto a main road. Nice one, Googs, you little felon. After the off-roading, we made our way back to the main road. And for the next few days, we would be on the dreaded AH1 highway. And to top it off, it started to rain. <laughs> Next time on King In It, we take on the incredible High Van Pass and make our way to the beautiful Hoi An. Spoiler alert, it's not via motorbikes. I need four overnight train tickets. We get some custom tailor-made outfits. We do a late night challenge in the night market and Amy puts on her first ever concert. Gangnam Style. 